So um, I just left the gas station and um, bought me some treats. Crunchers, kettle cooked jalapeno potato chips, full throttle energy drink, full throttle energy drink. I know my viewers out there like, you know what, Trey, you got to cut it out, man. You got to stop it. I know, I know. Listen, I believe today is my very last day for a very long time drinking uh, full throttle and um, eating potato chips. I'm quite overweight, as you guys can tell in some of my photos if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I want to treat myself, I want to go out with a bang, so I figure um, just stop their rallies. Rallies have um, these energy drinks for um, a undeniable price. You get two full throttles for three dollars, and so I went ahead and bought it. And, you know, I've been thinking for the last week um, that I really want to um, change my diet. Um, I really want to start back working out. <clears throat> and uh, I've made that decision mentally already. And um, so today is the last day I'm drinking this. Well, the last few hours after this, I'm going to chase this with some, some good old H2O. Um, it is uh, 20 to uh, 10 o'clock. 20 minutes till 10 a.m. So I figure, you know, I drink one of these. I might not even drink the second one. I might just, you know, uh, give it to my 70-year-old. Uh, I am on my way to um, my oldest kid's house. Uh, today is uh, the first Monday of the official summer vacation. I have to um, oversee them. I'm on my way over there. But uh, anyways, I figure I'm going to chase these down with some water, drink lots and lots of water today um, to hydrate myself and to prepare myself for tomorrow because tomorrow morning is the day I want to start working out. And um, I'm going to need y'all's help. So if anybody's watching my vlog, that's a, um, <clears throat> a physical trainer, a, uh, a, a dietary physician, uh, some type of you know health um guru if you are watching this and you know how to uh prepare meals and uh how meals are supposed to be prepared please hit me up in the comment section um because that's where i struggle at the most um i'm not lazy i have no problem at all working out my issue is and, and the issue is not even eating right it's preparing those meals for the days to come and um after workouts and stuff like that so uh
So the last clip, I obviously didn't have uh, the audio on the uh, mic switched on, but um, hopefully I put the subtitles on the screen and um, slow enough so you guys can read what was going on. Anyways, um, a few hours done pass. I made a very spontaneous decision to um, take uh, the two younger boys here to the pool. Malachi and Uriah. Um, I'm not getting in the pool. Um, for some odd reason, every time I get in the pool, I get really congested. Don't know why. I don't know if it, uh, I get swimmer's ear, the water goes into my ear, nose, whatever. But um, I don't mind the pool because it cools me down in the hot summer of Florida. But uh, I'm not going to get in. Besides, I didn't come prepared. I don't have any uh, swim shorts or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I'm waiting on the two boys to get ready for to take them to the pool. Don't know which pool we're going to yet, but we are going to the pool. And you can't lose me. Where are your things? You can put them in here. Like seriously, what all you have, bro? Got a towel, things to change into. I think that's it. You I got uh, underwear? Yeah. I don't know. sure? I might have left it in the house. You see some boxes in there? Get you some underwear, man. You got underwear? Yeah. I got You don't think y'all should have two separate bags? Yeah, I do have underwear. Both of y'all got underwear. Y'all got lotion, so when you get out, you're not too ashy. You don't have sunscreen. Oh, I don't need sunscreen. You don't need sunscreen? Because you got black. Every time we go to the pool, I don't have to put on sunscreen. No? Which pool y'all want to go to? Um, which pool are you going to let us go to? Which pool do you have in mind? Uh, With your mom? Yeah. How about we go to a different one? Yeah. Let's go to you ever been to North Shore? What's that? So we've arrived at the pool. No, I'm not um, sure of the uh, actual name of the pool, but it's in uh, Fossil Park, uh, Northeast uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, I'm going to attempt to take the camera. I'm not sure if they have any like rules or regulations of bringing cameras in. So uh, let's go, fellas. Y'all grab y'all things. Let's go. I'm kind of nervous, though. All right. I think... I think really the different location can make me feel a little bit nervous. Huh? What things? Hey, hey, you ready to get wet? Malachi, you ready to get wet? I'm gonna go hey, to the kitty area. You going to the kitty area? It's only four feet. I just gotta sit, I just gotta chill in here real quick. <laughs> you guys are from YouTube, or huh? YouTube? You know about YouTube? You said you're good. Which one are you going out of? Go in the dark blue one. Dive in there. It says no diving right there. You jump right over it. Oh, okay. And don't chicken out, man. Okay. <laughs> 
Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Look, you're good. You can stand up. Almost. Go all the way over here. You're going to do it again, aren't you? So we done with the pool, right? Yeah. And um, I didn't anticipate getting wet. But I had to jump off the diving board to show this wimper snapper right here how it's done. You know, your clothes are still damp. Huh? Yeah, they are still damp. So I um, I handed Malachi, stay over here to the side so you don't get hit by a car. I handed Malachi my keys, my wallet, my phone, the camera right here. We're gonna roll that footage so y'all can see when I jumped off the diving board. It might be out of focus, but. So anyways, after jumping off the big diving board, I thought I would uh, inspire Malachi to do it, but he still chickened up. He got all the way to the top and he turned around people. And I know I do not have it on uh, camera. And you know what they say, if you don't get it on camera, it didn't happen. No, I ain't about to do this. You chicken. You chicken. Well, he over there smiling. I didn't get it on camera. So, we're back from the pool and Chick-fil-A. We play like two hands and uh, uno at Chick-fil-A after the pool. Malachi, Uriah, and I, I got my butt kicked both times by uh, Malachi. But anyways, I'm gonna take this opportunity to close out the vlog, something that I don't often do. Um, <clears throat> man, like, I'm, um, I was talking to my brother, uh, GP the other day and, um, not to, uh, give too much of, uh, his business out, but, uh, we, we were, we, sh we were talking about how we share, uh, similar, uh, situations. Uh, GP, uh, just recently got married. Um, I went, I drove up to North Carolina to, um, film his wedding and um you know he's been talking about this thing like they was preparing for like almost a year you know and um his wife and him his wife and himself got married and i guess they had a small uh honeymoon and um him and i talked and he was like yo like what's next and i was like telling him the same thing like i'm i'm looking for the next thing too because um I had all these trips booked back to back, uh, Virginia, went to Virginia before North Carolina, went to North Carolina, after North Carolina, went to Portland, Seattle, and then Vancouver, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and I'm back home, and uh, I have a few jobs lined up, but uh, they're not until like uh, weeks away from now. But anyways, the point of what I'm saying is, uh, the both the both of us was like what's next what you know i don't have anything big planned right now and it's like you plan so much you work so hard for something and when that particular thing is over and you come back down to earth and it's like ah you bored uh it's like you know depression kicks in you know so you wonder what's next and it's like uh, besides not editing my vlogs on time, this is another reason why I don't give you guys vlogs because I struggle with content. All right, I'm like there's nothing big happening in my life, so what can I film? What can I give the audience? You know. But anyways, um, so. Uh, do you guys feel the same way sometimes? Like you plan something big and that big thing come, happens, and then it goes. And you're trying to figure out what's, what's the next big thing to do or, you you know. Because a lot of people live, they go, you know, a lot of people don't have this issue because they either plan year out or month out, week out, whatever. Or some people don't plan at all and they just go through life 
existing. So if you share a common interest or a similar situation like GP and I, um, I'd like to hear from you in the comment section, all right? Um, also, don't forget to visit all the sites and my social media sites below in the description section of this video. I'll probably put some um, caption up on the uh, video as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, thanks for rocking with me and uh, peace.